Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my top five highlighters with an honorable mention like always. So I did my foundation series earlier where I showed you my top five foundations. And that one I definitely, I pretty much had it ranked like from one to five or five to one with like one being my absolute favorite. Um, I think that might be the only one that has such a clear delineation between like my absolute favorite and the ones below it. I don't think that I can rank my top five in the same way. I just feel like foundations only ever do one. I hate this chair. So because like you, you use highlighters for all different reasons and all different types and all different kinds of things, um, I don't necessarily have a ranking. Like I definitely have a number one, obviously. Um, but other than that, they're just kind of all like, I'm going to grab one of these five 75% of the time. Does that make sense? So let's get into the video. Um, don't judge me by my sweatshirt. It's a Sunday. I just feel like being comfy. So starting with my honorable mention highlight. And the reason that this is an honorable mention is because it's barely a highlight. This is the Wet n Wild, the color icon bronzer in the shade Reserve Your Cabana. Now. This is definitely a super subtle highlighter. This is a great highlighter for every day. If you work in a more professional setting where you can't wear very extravagant makeup, I wear this a lot on the daily because I just want to be glowing, but not really like blinging, you know? Like I want to have like a more alive, glowing something look to my face but without being like highlight highlight this is what I'll pick but I kept it as an honorable mention because it's not technically a highlighter that most people think of it's more of like a shimmery powder but this is gorgeous I can see like the pan rings there in the middle so you know I use it a lot it is really really pretty and I highly recommend it if you want a super subtle highlight I mean like very subtle it's super pretty um probably my Next one is going to be the liquid cream highlighter that I love. I am wearing this one actually on my face today. I've gotten a little bit better at remembering to put on cream highlighters, but this is my fifth favorite highlighter because while I love what a cream highlighter does and what it looks like and kind of like the internal glow that it can bring to your face, I always forget to put it on. So it becomes such a hassle um, to apply. You really have to like remember ahead of time and plan for it and that's not usually how I do my makeup so this is stunning this is the beauty crop lightning crew highlighting cream it has pineapple and green tea this is beautiful I got it in a subscription box like so long ago but it is by far my favorite cream highlighter it's the perfect it's almost like a rose gold highlighter it just goes really well with my skin tone I find that some cream highlighters are too pink some are too golden this one is really really perfect still wouldn't recommend putting it over powder so you do have to go through the process of doing your foundation and your under eye concealer and then putting on the highlighter and then setting your you know it's just more of a process but the look that you get is so stunning with this one and I do have other cream highlighters that I like but that one's my favorite my number four highlighter well shit man I'm gonna have to go with the drugstore one. This is the last drugstore highlighter I have. I know, but like when it comes to like an intense highlighter, it's just hard to find at the drugstore. And I know like Wet n Wild has some, but I'm still going to pick these. Anyways, this is an incredible highlight. It's only at number four because again, it's slightly more subtle, but I mean, I have about 20 highlighters, so it's still in my top five. This is the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter in Highlight 10, Be My Highlight. It's again, more of like a glow from within highlight, but I love swatching it does nothing. I mean, you can barely see that the highlight. One of the reasons I love this highlighter so much is that it's not too colored. Like the color of this highlighter is very similar to the color of my skin. So it really just blends in and looks natural if that's possible for a highlighter but because of the colors of it it does look very very natural it's 
more of a subtle shimmer than like a high shine blinding highlight but it is stunning again it's a little bit more like everyday wearable so if you're looking for that i highly recommend this but you can build that shit up and it'll be like bright okay number three is going to be the the balm mary luminizer i haven't had this for very long and that's why it's so far down but this shit is nice this is like the og highlighter i think before like everybody was coming out with highlighters there was the mary luminizer this is a gorgeous gold champagne -y highlight this is perfect to pop on the inner corners i have this on my cheeks today like on top of that cream one it is so beautiful it works very well for light to medium skin tones because it has enough gold in it that even if it's a little bit lighter it still kind of works because of that gold that it like the way it pulls gold super blingy but still really like blends into the skin well does not emphasize texture i really love this and i wish i had gotten it sooner okay my number to highlight you guys are going to be confused that why this is not number one my second most favorite highlight is champagne pop this is becca champagne pop the only reason that it's not a number one is because it's not quite as wearable for me so i love this highlight it is i mean it is just freaking incredible i literally just swatched too much that's how incredible it is it is so glowy and shiny it is a very perfect color to blend in with your skin very nicely and just look really glowy but for me and what i do i don't go for that like serious serious glow quite as often so although i love it and i and blown away by it every time I wear it like every time I put it on I find myself just like putting on more and more and more because I can't get enough of it I absolutely love 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 this product so much but I just don't wear it enough I just am not in the mood for this kind of highlight enough to call it my number one product but this is amazing incredible there's a reason that they are keeping it as a permanent item there's a reason that there was so much hype about it and it's not just because of Jaclyn Hill this is an incredible highlight it will work for so many skin tones and so many different people I the only people I don't think it would work for is very very pale people but it's incredible but my number one is even more incredible this highlight is the Laura Mercier matte radiance baked powder and highlight zero one this is again a beautiful champagne -y gold color it's lighter in like complexion than color than color pop than champagne pop is but it is so incredible how it kind of just like is shimmery without being shimmery and it's not glittery and it it almost looks like you don't have a highlight on but like it really looks like you have a highlight on they call it matte radiance because it's more of like a it's definitely not matte I mean this is a serious highlighter but they call it matte radiance because it's not that kind of matte like it's not or that kind of shimmer it's not like a champagne pop it's more of like that glow from within like how does she do it sheen kind of dewy look as opposed to like your face is fucking wet it's stunning again that gold color really works so well with my skin tone i've this is a sample and you don't have to use very much it just gives your skin the most beautiful glow without being glittery shimmery sparkly wet any of those things it's just incredible it's one that you can wear just a little bit every day and it's stunning or you can build it up and just really go heavy with it and I love it so those are my favorite highlighters in my collection um, again I've only tried these ones so let me know down below what your favorite highlighters are and maybe if enough of you like the same ones I can go get them I'm not the biggest highlight person I love like a, a glow but I'm not like every day putting on eight pounds of highlighter even though I would love to like I love anything shimmery I just want to like cover my body and shimmer products that's like my dream like if I could take a bath in this Mar this Mariah Carey touch my body powder I totally would 
but society like you know frowns on that so these are my favorite highlighters again let me know yours down below and maybe I'll try it out I hope that you guys enjoyed if you have not tried any of these highlighters get your butt out to the store and buy them now they are so good I hope you guys like this video let me know what top five you want to see next don't forget to subscribe to my channel my face will be up here um, and you can give this video a thumbs up if you want to see future top five videos or if you want to help my channel out. And I'll talk to you guys next time.